Hi everyone, my name is Shalima. Welcome back to my another session of learning English with me guys. In this video, we are going to look at five language learning techniques that are scientifically proven to help you become fluent in English. If you give them a try, they can transform your English skills and increase your confidence while speaking the language. Okay, here we are going to talk about a technique. The name of this technique is Spaced Repetition System, SRS. Usually language learners use this guy's method to memorize new words, but sometimes actually you can memorize grammar rules this way. You can also memorize pronunciation aspects this way, right? So this is what I do and it works great for me guys the key idea is that you can review things right before you are about to forget them okay so this way you can keep reinforcing your memory right when it needs it making learning more efficient okay and long lasting instead of opening your test book right and uh, thinking okay these are the words i need to revise right so today what you do is you just open any app there are so many apps based on this right and this uh, i would like to tell you one app the space repetition system like anki right i heard that memorize is also based on this system guys okay and you go through the words that you already saved there okay so instead of going through the entire stack of cars every single day right srs helps you to focus on the cars okay that you need to focus on the ones that you can uh, you have problems with that right but the ones that you already know you know you are going to see them in in a like in like a few months and a year or a two years the next language learning technique is called immersion okay immersion is all about surrounding yourself with the target language in your real life children learn their first language right they learn the language because they live in that country because the parents speak to them in this language right so you are basically doing the exact same thing if you want to watch a show or you watch any movie in it right you are in your target language if you want to google something you google it in your target language all right that means your second language if you want to listen to music you listen to music in your target language instead of listening in hindi music right only that's the actually way what i did a lot when i started you know uh, taking english learning more seriously right so when i was in a high school and in in my college i just started you know immersing myself in the language non stop for everything like my computer my phone everything in my house right was literally in english and uh, like everything okay so i could make in english was in english because i then so i would google stuff in english everything i would only watch you know uh, british Amer uh, british youtubers or i refuse to follow people in my native language on instagram okay i would only follow the people who spoke english okay i am dead serious right and i think it really paid off and i am really proud of myself that i was able to create this english speaking environment when i live in india and i honestly i had no one to practice english with if you are looking for a platform that uh, will help you to learn in a language with this immersion method in mind i highly recommend guys you just uh, download any app okay and you can do the practice with that okay because there are lot many more you know ai apps available on our play stores okay so i highly recommend you just download for free any any i'm not recommending any anything okay you can download whatever you think that it's good for me right so you can do that you can download it and you can do the practice or if you want you can just record yourself while speaking all right so i am sharing my schedule i can be with my schedule this way like uh, language learning fits into my personal goals and lifestyles in a better way there are people for example 
who prefer to take classes late at night right or early in the morning right so it can also helps but there you have to you know pay amount for that so the next proven language learning technique is shadowing guys shadowing is a technique where you you know repeat or shadow on native speakers as closely as possible while listening to the recording or podcast it's really helps with your pronunciation also and with your intonation and of course with your accent you know this technique was developed by alexander arels and i really hope i am pronouncing his name correctly in his uh, in this video so he basically walks uh, you know briskly while listening to something and uh, then repeating that almost instantly because this way i guess you engage both your mind your and your body right in learning so if you don't understand everything the native speakers is saying of course you can use translators because it's important to understand what you are actually shadowing right the idea behind walking while you are shadowing is that you challenge your brain to process and automate new linguistic input okay which eventually improves your uh you know fluency through repetition and the multitasking right the next amazing language learning technique is task based language learning or tblt it uh, you know focuses on introducing yourself to authenticity a language by doing certain task and it can really help you to practically because you are doing real life things instead of you know just focusing on grammar or vocabulary let's say you are planning a trip right and you want to go to france right this summer and you are learning french so instead of doing all these in english if english is your native language okay you instead do all this thing in french and you learn the language because you have a specific task you know you have a specific plan your trip to go to france right you learn the language naturally just like you would in you know in you know in your real life and you focus on your practical and relevant things and so because of this approach you get this you know hands on experience with the language not just one you get inside the classroom but something that you can see yourself using later in life like when you actually go to france it's going to go to be you know extremely beneficial or let's say your friend's birthday party is coming right so and you are thinking what can i do or and maybe you decide to make a chocolate cake because you really like baking so instead of you know doing that in your native language okay you can do it in english okay if you are learning english you go online and you find this best chocolate cake recipe ever you scroll down okay and i mean you know uh, you can read all that you read the ingredients list let's say you get uh, interested in the word unsweetened right so you are like wow i wouldn't be able to say this word myself right so you know in a conversation or so maybe i should memorize it right then you go down you see step by step instructions you see the word okay preheat like preheat right wow that's an interesting word you see the word oven you make sure you know how to pronounce it correctly because a lot of people guys say something like oven right oven but not oven so you see my point because you already have this task like you kind of have to make this chocolate cake why not do in it in the language you are learning instead of your native language all right so you are doing something that you already have to do and you are practicing the language and finally mnemonics mnemonics are the lang amazing language learning techniques for you uh are basically memory aids they use associations patterns and images to help you 
और रिमेंबर इंफॉर्मेशन एंड देन एंड दे वर्क स्पेशली ग्रेट फॉर विजुअल लर्नर्स इफ इट्स ईजियर फॉर यू टू लुक एट समथिंग एंड देन मेमोराइज इट दे ऑल्सो हेल्प यू यू नो रिमेंबर सन सम कॉम्प्लेक्स थिंग्स बिकॉज यू एसोसिएट विद दैम समथिंग ईजियर और यू नो फनियर और मेमोर और मोर रिलेटेबल सो ऑल यू हैव टू डू टू क्रिएट एन यू नो निमोनिक is this you have to link new information to something that you already know you are have to create this vivid image to go with that word right so you are trying to remember you can use rhymes or acronyms or stories to help you to remember it better right so let's say that i want to memorize a word meek in english okay if you are just like um shalima my imagination is not great you can use chat gpt so i create this prompt create mnemonic to memorize the word okay meek in english and here is the example we have my elephant eats kale meek right you can visualize a gentle mild mannered elephant quietly eating kale right which aligns with the meaning of meek as someone who is you know gentle humble or submissive i mean i love this mnemonics honestly guys my elephant eats kale meek you can use this picture to i added this picture so that i just you know everything falls together and how everything every single time i think that of that word meek i think of these you know two cute elephant eating kale i mean probably it's not kale but you know for the sake of our prompt okay here they are eating kale to be honest guys there are a lot of other amazing techniques like comprehensible input right chunk in storytelling and you know contextual learning that you can really help you to master language more successfully if you want me to make part of two of this video please let me know in the comment don't forget to you know subscribe to my channel first if you are new on my channel so please subscribe to my channel and you follow my journey if you like this video don't forget to give thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel if you are thinking about what to watch next i highly recommend checking out this video where i share what method i used to memorize new words vocabulary in in you know in a foreign language so click right here okay and keep on watching guys so that's it for today's video thanks for watching bye bye take care